ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಮುನ ತೀರಾವನಚಾರಿ ಮುನ ತೀರಾವನಚಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಓಂ ವಿಶ್ವಪಾದ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿವ್ರಾಜಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರ ಶತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಎಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿವಂತ ಭಕ್ತಿವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಅತ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಮೇ ಅಜ ಭುವ ಹಿ ಅಜಾನತ ಪೃಥಕ್ ಈಶ ಮಾನಿ ಅಜ ಅವಲೇಪ ಅಂಧತಮ ಅಂಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಅನುಕಂಪ್ಯ ಮಯಿ ನಾಥವಾನ್ ಅತ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವಾಚ್ಯುತ ಮೇ ರಜೋ ಭುವ ಅತ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವಾಚ್ಯುತ ಮೇ ರಜೋ ಭುವ ಹ್ಯಜಾನತಸ್ತ್ವತ್ಪೃಥ ಈಶ ಮಾನಿ ಹ್ಯಜಾನತಸ್ತ್ವತ್ಪೃಥ ಈಶ ಮಾನಿ ಅಜಾವಲೆ ಪಾಂಧ ತಮೋಂಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಅಜಾವಲೆ ಪಾಂಧ ತಮೋಂಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಏಷೋ ನು ಕಂಪ್ಯೋ ಮಯಿ ನಾಥವಾನಿತಿ ಏಷೋ ನು ಕಂಪ್ಯೋ ಮಯಿ ನಾಥವಾನಿತಿ ಅತ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವಾಚ್ಯುತ ಮೇ ರಜೋ ಭುವ ಹ್ಯಜಾನತಸ್ತ್ವತ್ಪೃತ ಈಶ ಮಾನಿ ಅಜಾವಲೆ ಪಾಂಧ ತಮೋಂಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಏಷೋ ನು ಕಂಪ್ಯೋ ಮಯಿ ನಾಥವಾನಿತಿ ಅತ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವಾಚ್ಯುತ ಮೇ ರಜೋ ಭುವ ಹ್ಯಜಾನತಸ್ತ್ವತ್ಪೃತ ಈಶ ಮಾನಿ ಅಜಾವಲೆ ಪಾಂಧ ತಮೋಂಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಏಷೋ ನು ಕಂಪ್ಯೋ ಮಯಿ ನಾಥವಾನಿತಿ ಜಾನತಸ್ವತ್ಪೃತ ಈಶ ಮಾನಿ ಅಜಾವರೆ ಪಾಂಧ ತಮೋಂಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಏಷೋ ನು ಕಂಪ್ಯೋ ಮಯಿ ನಾಥವಾನಿ
आता जी अतः देर फोर क्षमस्व प्लीज एक्सक्यूज अच्युत ओ इनफैलेबल लॉर्ड मे मी राजा भुवा हु हैव टेकन बर्थ इन द मोड ऑफ पैशन ही इंडीड अजानत being ignorant twat from you prathak separate isha a controller maninaha resuming myself aja the unborn creator avalepa the covering andhatamaha by such darkness of ignorance andha blinded chakshushah my eyes eshah this person anukampyah should be shown mercy mai me nathavan having as his master it does thinking translation and purport by the by the disciples of shri prabhupad translation therefore o infallible lord kindly excuse my offenses i have taken birth in the mode of passion and i am therefore simply foolish presuming myself a controller independent of your lordship my eyes are blinded blinded by the darkness of ignorance which causes me to think of myself as the unborn creator of the universe but please please consider me that i am your servant and therefore worthy of your compassion purport in his commentary shila vishwana chakravarti thakur explains that brahma wanted to present the following argument to the lord my dear lord because i have acted so badly i certainly deserve to be punished on the other hand because i am so ignorant you should consider me an innocent fool and be merciful to me thus although i deserve both punishment and forgiveness I humbly beg you to exercise exercise tolerance in this matter and simply forgive me and show me your mercy. The words Nathavan indicate that Lord Brahma wanted to humbly remind Lord Krishna that he was after all Brahma's father and master and should therefore forgive the unfortunate transgressions of his humble servant. Every conditioned soul whether he be Lord Brahma or an insignificant ant falsely identifies himself with the, with the material world and in this way forgets his eternal relationship with the supreme personality of godhead lord brahma because of his prestigious position as the cosmic creator also tends to identify himself as the lord of this world and thus he sometimes forgets his position as an insignificant servant of the supreme lord now by lord krishna's mercy this false identification is being rectified and lord brahma is remembering his constitutional position as the eternal servant of god om vishnu krishna krishna जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 अत क्षम स्वाचित मे रजो भुव यजान तस्वत्तक ईश मानि अजावले पांध तमोंद चक्षुष एशो नुकंप्यो मई नाथ वाणी ट्रांसलेशन देर फोर ओ इनफैलेबल लॉर्ड काइंडली एक्सक्यूज मई ऑफेंसेस आई हैव टेकन बर्थ इन द मोड ऑफ पैशन एंड आई एम देर फोर सिंपली फुलिश प्रज्यूमिंग माई सेल्फ कंट्रोलर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ योर लॉर्डशिप आई आईज आर ब्लाइंडेड बाई द डार्कनेस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस विच कॉज मी कॉजेज मी टू थिंक ऑफ माई सेल्फ एज द अनबॉर्न क्रिएटर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स बट प्लीज कंसिडर दैट आई एम योर सर्वेंट एंड देर फोर वर्दी ऑफ योर कंपैशन so in the in this verse brahma 
he calls Krishna using the name Achyuta. So Srila Prabhupada in many different, uh, in Bhagavad Gita in some purports, he gives the definition of Achyuta in different ways. So uh, I'd like to analyze how all, all those meanings could be used in this verse. Like one meaning is that his supreme position is never challenged. So here he is saying that, uh, Brahma is saying that, I thought myself as a controller, but uh, I'm dependent to you. I'm dependent on you. But Krishna is supreme, and he and Brahma's Brahma just has a post. It may it will change. Next lifetime he won't be Brahma. He might not be Brahma. So that position is temporary. But Krishna's pos supreme position is always eternal. He was the supreme Lord. He is the supreme Lord, and will be the supreme Lord. So in that way. So here Brahma is addressing uh, him as Achyuta. Another meaning is that he never fails in his affection to the devotees. So Brahma in one sense he may be saying that he is asking for the Lord's compassion. So he is saying you are Achyuta so you please be compassionate and forgive my offenses. And then uh, he also says that uh, Achyuta also means that he never forgets himself. He, uh, when he comes in material contact. So he is above the uh, modes, above, above the three modes of material nature. But Brahma is saying that I have taken birth in the mode of passion. So, But uh, Krishna, he is not subjected to the three modes of material nature. And here Brahma, so he is saying that he took, uh, he took birth in the mode of passion. And it's in Bhagavad Gita said Tribir Gunamayar Bhave Ebi Sarva Idam Jagat Mohitam Nabijanati Mame Bya Farma Vyam. So this uh, Brahma's actually this his prayers we can accept we can they are like we should also pray like Brahma. These like match our position. Actually he is a pure devotee. He also momentarily uh, momentarily was bewildered by the Lord's Maya Shakti. But uh, we are actually in the same position. So, because of the three modes, we forget that the Lord is supreme and that we are dependent on Him. So, we should remember that we are the Lord's servant and not that we are the supreme masters. Krishna is always, always the supreme master and we are His servant. And also, He says, Brahma says, so, and because of that mode of passion, I am simply foolish, assuming myself a controller independent of your Lordship. So he thought himself as a controller independent of the Lord. So Brahma he is the first living entity in this world and he is on the topmost level like he has the most power and he is the most powerful living entity. But he uh, is a controller. He is like controller of the world in one sense but he is not the supreme controller. He is dependent on Krishna. So that he is saying and he himself after like Lord Krishna gave him knowledge in the beginning of creation so he himself prayed to Krishna and he said that you are the Supreme Lord, Ishwara Paramaha Krishna. So he is the Supreme Controller. So this is confirmed by Brahma himself before. And he also says, and Krishna is only Swarat. We cannot be, we have some minute independence, but we are still all the time uh, de dependent on the Lord. So only Krishna can be Swarat. And then Brahma says that because of my eyes are bl blinded by the darkness of ignorance, which causes me to think of myself as the unborn creator of the universe. So, uh, here he is saying that I thought to myself to be unborn so that I have, I have no source and I am the original person. I thought because of my, so this habit, he is saying that because I thought I am the controller and because of all the power he had at the post, he thought himself to be uh, the unborn creator of the world. But actually we see that uh, he, but Garbhota Kashaya Vishnu, uh, he came the, from his navel, the lotus sprouted and on that Brahma was born. So he is the son of Krishna. And Krishna gave him the knowledge, said in Bhagavatam that uh, Brahma Hridaya Adi Kavaye. So he gave the knowledge to Brahma and Vishnu only inspired him also to create the universe. So he is, he is just uh, an engineer, but... Uh, Krishna gave him the knowledge and everything. So he is just an instrument. So he is saying that here. And yeah, and then he is saying, please consider that I am your servant, and therefore worthy of your compassion. So 
this Prabhupada is also explaining, uh, I mean, his disciples are quoting from Vishwanath Chakravati, Chakravati Thakur that he is saying that I have committed, means I have offense, I have committed an offense by thinking yourself, thinking you to be below me and I am the supreme controller and above you. So please forgive me for the offense and that you forgive me and accept me and think and understand that means you accept me as your servant and please forgive me so we should this uh, what this mood should be for all of us we always commit uh, offenses and but there is but if we don't we should pray to the lord for forgiveness and to the devotees because otherwise we there is no way for us to progress in in spiritual life because we need the mercy of the Lord and the devotees. If we don't have His mercy, then we can't progress in spiritual life. So that here, uh, Brahma is uh, explaining that. And uh, you can see for uh, how Jagai Madai, they had, uh, what say, they had committed so many sinful acts, but because they repented and they asked for forgiveness and mercy from the Lord, the Lord forgave them and took away all their sins. So in this way, we should also pray to the Lord. And of course, and then definitely the Lord will cleanse us of all sins. And we will be able to progress in spiritual life. And it's very important that we should not think ourselves to be controllers. Uh, like science, atheistic scientists, they think that the Lord, there is no God. And that they are controlling, they can control nature. And they are thinking they want, they want to stop death. But it's impossible. Only the Lord can stop Janma Mrityu Jara Vyadhi. So uh, they should always remember that they are uh, they don't have supremacy over the Lord's material nature. So the Lord's laws uh, force everyone to act according to their moods. So we should, and here in this verse, the disciples of Prabhupada are pointing out that Nathaman Iti indicates that Lord Brahma wanted to humbly remind Lord Krishna that he was after all Brahma's father and master and should therefore forgive the unfor unfortunate transgressions of his humble servant. So of course we also, we are all children of God, so of Krishna. So therefore we should always, as I said, we should pray to the Lord so that he forgives us for all our offenses. And here we can see a similar example like Indra. He also, because of his power, he got very angry when Krishna stopped his sacrifice. So he thought of destroying Krishna himself. But it's not possible for him. And then he understood. He understood and then he prayed for the Lord's mercy and then he asked for forgiveness. That should be our mood. So we should, in conclusion, we should, uh, we should understand that we are the servant of the Lord and we should uh, serve him. And in that way, we can uh, perfect our life. Any questions, comments? Yes. Uh, I don't think so that would be proper just that we continue with our sinful activities or bad activities like in the churches like this Christians they confess and then the next day they eat meat or do the sinful activities so that is actually misusing the Lord's mercy that's not proper but we should try our best to do we should do our best in devotional service we should try our best we should try to follow all the rules and regulations and in that way we can progress but we, uh, we should also not think that we can do it all by myself that if we study if we like somebody knows the whole bhagavatam all the philosophy and is doing a lot of service so he shouldn't think that 
this is all my uh, work. Like Krishna says that one who thinks that he thinks because of false ego that he is the doer, so he is uh, uh, he is a vimur atma, so he is a rascal or fool. So therefore, we should understand that whatever we have accomplished is because by the Lord's mercy. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Vandraj Shrimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai. 